is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles, on the Rockstar Radio Network. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd on the Rockstar Radio Network. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, top of the day to everybody. It is a fabulous day from my home base in Colorado, and we actually have our guest today is also another um, fellow Coloradian, and but also an amazing person who impacts authors throughout the, the country, actually globally, I'll say, because John Zeck is involved with the Tattered Cover. The Tattered Cover is one of the... I'm, I'm opinionated, but I will say one of the uh, single best bookstores in the United States, and that it really uh, that it it really is at the top of who's who in bookstores. Where they pay attention to what's going on in the indie world, and John has his experience is really massive when it comes to publishing. What I what I really appreciate about having him with us today is that he comes has his, his feet in, in both arenas. He really comes from the traditional side. He gets what has gone on in the past. He really does see what's in the evolution where he was with Harper Collins. Uh, for a long, long time. He's been in publishing for over 32 years. He thought he retired, but you know, when you had the book bug, it's very difficult to be what we called retired. And he came back after a three year hiatus, and he's uh, he had a lot of traveling and those kind of things, but now he's back as the director of business development for the Tattered Cover Press, which we will talk about what the press is all about. And we're going to get into what this thing is called the EBM. And for those of you who don't know what an EBM is, it is the Espresso Print on Demand book machine. So when does it work? When should you use it? Um, how can you use it? What's the cost of how to use it? Plus a lot of other things that's going on in the whole print arena. And I guess we always want to, the question is, because a lot of people have on their plate, is print dead? Okay, I'm biased. I'm going to say it's not dead. There's just added goodies to the menu of what options are. We're looking at the way we read and choose to have material in front of us. So with that said, let's welcome John Zeck. How are you, John? I'm great, Judith. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Well, I'm really glad to have you because you know about publishing. Um, as actually, when I chatted with you the other day, I actually I was out out and about, and um, I sat down on a bench in front of a grocery store just to talk with you about things that were going on in publishing. Um, and, and then I decided, no, I guess I better go shopping. So, with that said, let's start. Let's talk about shopping. What, what are our shopping op- options as an author? Well. Uh, Judith, they're 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 numerous. Um, we and and what's what's interesting is is um, is we talk to a lot of authors who uh, have done ebooks and uh, you know done done ebooks on the Kindle and think they have it resolved. Resolved. They have you know they've done they've uh, they've they've printed books. Um, they've been through you know a significant print run. Uh, and think that um, and, and think that they had it they had it solved that way. Uh, and the, the the thing about publishing is is that nothing is ever ever finally resolved uh, until uh, long after the author's deceased and uh, and and the works are are, are public domain. So we're, uh, so we're always making different decisions. Ah, so it ain't over when the fat lady sings. <laughs> God, I haven't said that saying a long time. <laughs> no. no, I'm not. I'm not going near it either. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Well, we can play with. Hey, we can play with anything we want to here. All right. So we we've got all uh, we've got a, a lot of options and a lot of changes. So let let's start with maybe some of the changes. And one of the big changes is the introduction of the espresso book machine. And I remember when um, the very first one was introduced on the floor of the Book Expo um, years ago in New York. I was there. And so it was the ooh and the ah, you know, we had a great time um, looking at what was happening in that arena. So that that made it kind of fun. Um, oh, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, Judith. And what, what, first of all, what the espresso book machine does is if you have a file of a book, uh, of, of the body of a book that's properly formatted, and you have another a separate PDF file of a cover of a book cover that's properly formatted. And formatting instructions aren't really too difficult for the say just above novice uh, computer computer user. Um, if those are correct, what we can do is load those files and print you a book. Theoretically, while you wait, we do kind of ask people to make an appointment because we have a backlog, but um, that, that, is, that is what it can do. What it looks like, what, you, do you remember when, when computers used to take up the whole wing of a building? Sure. Um, and, and, now, and, and now what you hear is, is that big machine that we saw in the 70s that took up the wing of a building now had um, stored information that now fits on half a flash drive. Well, the machine, you know, pe- people are expecting to see a big printing press, and it's really not that. It's a, it's a zero. It's a very sm- it's a smart machine. It's a Xerox machine combined with uh, a large Xerox machine combined with a machine that's a little bit bigger than it, which prints a cover, uh, binds binds the book with a with a 340-degree de- uh, glue, and then cuts and trims a book uh, in the lower half while a second book is being printed. Um, and it's, it's just it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. I mean, it, it's, it's really the, the, the Disneyland of, uh, of lower downtown. And what's fun is, is uh, the on-demand books people, and if you go to ondemandbooks.com, you can learn more about the Espresso Book Machine, but those folks um, had the had the the absolute wisdom to do fiberglass sides, so you can watch this whole process. And it's, and, it's and, really- and that's a that's a smart thing. So it's we come um, for the tattered cover, and there and we we actually need to say there in the United States there's roughly forty machines Cor- correct in the entire and, United States. And one of the things that authors can do. Um, is they can go to on-demand books after they've printed on one espresso book machine somewhere in the United States, get on the Express Net, and then the book tr- becomes transparent for all the other espresso book machines in the country. And there are, uh, there are probably another 45 or so around the world, too. They're on every continent. And that gives you that, that – so if, if – um, if an author printed with us and was in had a had had um, had a uh, uh, a platform built in Washington D.C., people could go into politics and prose there and mm-hmm. theoretically have their book printed right there for them while they waited. Mm-hmm. And politics and prose is another fine independent bookstore in yes. the U.S. Yeah, so se- I, I mean several we'll of, our, of our yeah. of, of our of yeah. our best independents have joined us uh, have joined us in 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 acquiring espresso book machines. So Al's how cool- Portland, uh, uh, et cetera. So yeah, and how cool is this? Because that if you do uh, come in and sign on, and 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 print it, and we'll get into all the uses for this in a sec, um, with our three minutes before our first break. But what we have is that. We could uh, literally, if you print here in Denver or Washington, D.C. or in Chicago or wherever the, the machine is, that you could go in the network. You could go, let's say that you you were here in Denver and you were at, 
at a, an event or you were visiting someone in Washington, D.C., and you connected with someone that said, oh, my God, if I had a copy of your book, I would take it to this, blah, blah, blah. And you can say, you know what? I can have that in an hour for you. And how cool is that? Precisely, Judith. That's 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 absolutely true in terms of marketing. And uh, McNally Jackson has one uh, uh, right there in New York City. So say you were doing uh, a publicity campaign and uh, yes. – and and ran short um, in the Big Apple. You would uh, you would be able to get books. Oh, and here's the here's the huge plus. If, if any of you have sent anything overnight, that you know that and the and the cost cost roughly is about ten dollars for an average book. Is that correct, John? Yeah, two two hundred fifty pages is ten dollars. We do offer discounts and volume, but uh, but yeah, that's a good 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 place to. Okay, uh, so it, if. Okay, so 250 pages for $10, you will have a bound copy. Um, it's not going to be embossed. You're not going to have a dust jag. You're not going to have flaps, but you'll have a bound copy that you can get in somebody's hands. That is cheaper than any overnight service, and you're talking about having it in an hour. How cool is that? <laughs> we, we love it. Uh, we love it. Our well, customers love it. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate I appreciate your 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 enthusiasm, dude. Well, I, you know, John, I actually haven't thought of it that way, but I am. I'm going to actually do a little write up for it. I'm going to put a tip in the July author you um, easing the resource. The, you know, did you know? I, I will add that is to the tip things because a lot of people don't know that. So just I, I'm telling you as a strategy for an author, I would get my book. Um, even if you don't intend to print them out, and we'll get into again when we come back from our break here in a few seconds about different ways to use them, but just to have it in the system, in the knowledge base that if you are traveling anywhere in major cities that they have a machine and you need a sec a book in a fairly quick period of time that no overnight service is going to do, you've got a solution. That's fabulous. Yeah, and and what what I what I what I'd give you I, I hate to <laughs> I hate to put it damp in your charts there because no uh -oh. that 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 is it is that fabulous, but what what we have to do is we have to do a good job of encouraging all of our authors to okay, use that on, express that. that, that okay, express hold that. that all right. And this is Judith Browles. John Zeck is my guest. We are talking the espresso book machine. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Is there a book in you or another? Author You will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good. If you already have a book out, you'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author You brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author You's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author You is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a cat casual author it's not join author you today through its website at author you.org follow author you on twitter at author you and on facebook at author you where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily author you where the author goes to become seriously successful the way you publish online. WaveCloud is a new form for authors to manage all their books' information in one place from start to finish, including pricing and listing summary. To learn more or sign up for email updates, visit wavecloud.com.
Every picture tells a story, and it's a truism that people do judge a book by its cover. Nick Selinger and NZ Graphics have been in the business of producing superior graphic cover design and interior layout for self-published authors, independent and traditional publishers for years. He has developed a reputation for... Excellent work, fast turnarounds, and best of all, affordable pricing. NZ Graphics also produces ebooks and book marketing materials such as posters, sell sheets, postcards, bookmarks, business cards, logos, and more. Books designed for his clients have won multiple book awards, including Best Book Award by U.S. Book News, multiple Evie Awards from the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, Indie Book Awards, the San Francisco Book Festival. Festival Award and Freedom Medal Award from Valley Forge. Visit www.nzgraphics.com or call 303-985-4174 for more details about making your book the success it should be. Mention that you are an FOJ, Friend of Judith's, and that you heard about NZ Graphics on your guide to book publishing. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know, to know, but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know, but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right. I, in my enthusiasm, I was jumping on that uh, uh, the uh, need for every author to get their book um, it, it, within the EBM system. And, I, and number one, I'm not going to take that away. I think it's a brilliant idea. And I think that that would be part of your investment thing. So I, I would do that. Uh, John Zeck, who is with the Tattered Cover in Denver, Colorado, one of the top premier independent bookstores in the in the world um, is really runs the baby and knows um, when when it has a hiccup he knows where the screwdriver is and how's to fix it I'm gonna say that but John I don't know if you run around with the screwdriver but um, that the idea of being able to travel globally we're not just talking in the United States globally there's less than 90 uh, 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 espresso and that's spilled like the espresso coffee, espresso machines in the world. But to be able to go into their network and to print out a copy of your book in a fairly quick period of time that will uh, beat out an overnight system and be a lot less expensive is spec- simply spectacular. It, it's, a, it's a thing that I hadn't even thought of um, and did not pass my brain until roughly 10 minutes ago. So um, it, it's something that I think every author should have as a strategy, just saying, okay, here's if, if you're backing up your computer, if you're backing up your phone, this is a backup of your book. How cool is that? John, what do you think? Oh, I, yes, and 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 Judith, I, it can, would it be okay for me to wax on about different applications for a minute? Because uh, it, oh it, yeah, oh yeah, uh, let's go. You know, one of the things that 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 you know, the, Judith and I are talking about the the availability of this machine. Uh, say so. Say you're you're a you've got a uh, a corporate platform book that you use. For uh, that you use for uh, strategy sessions that you that you do around the country, why ship them in? Have them uh, have them printed, have them printed on an espresso book machine before you hit town. I mean, I can meet you at the at your hotel with your books. Um, you know the 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 and and we're doing we're doing a lot more professional books over time. Uh, we have uh, uh, a team of. Uh, uh, of therapists from Broomfield, uh, Drake and Lindsay Eastburn, you know, and they've, they have six or seven books under their belt. What they've decided with the two current books that they have is they really want to develop a pay as, as we go strategy. So basically 
their cash flow is always, they've always got books and they've always got cash flow. Uh, and, and that's, that's very important to them at this stage of their publishing career. Uh, and, and, and with their current books, they've, they've, uh, they, they've learned a, a lot about print. Now I, you know, what they're doing with eBooks or, or, or that's another, uh, a different part of their strategy. We, we do a, we do a lot of, um, of, of personal family, uh, family and friends memoirs. Um, and I just, I, I have to, I have to mention that. Um, what? Yes, those are what we call legacy books too. Legacy you know, the, books, yeah. yeah, a legacy book, uh, yeah. And uh, but uh, but the the there there are there are just so many applications, um, and we work with uh, we can help people who uh, who and, and and we help people get books into print with great service providers. Uh, Judith and I use some of the use some of the same people, um, and. Uh, and, and, and you know, we, we we it's just such a such a great time, you know, having people realize their their dream to see their books in print. It is, you know, we do need to add on, John. Here though, that that the the espresso uh, uh, book machine does not format your book. It does not lay out book. What it does is it takes files of already created books in the format that you want them to be, and it, what it does is it prints them. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not a it's not a designer of a book. I, right. I think that's important for people to understand. Right, and we, you know, and and, and we we really do bill ourselves as printers, not publishers. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this this to say that that your publishing decisions are all your own. Uh, the most frequently answered question that we get is, "What about marketing?" Uh, and uh, Wow, what a complicated issue! That's what Judith has built uh, has built to author you and the book Shepherd around, um, and, and and we send a lot of people your way. Um, you know, it's mm-hmm. funny because speaking of this uh, of your uh, of your session uh, on Saturday with Kickstarter, uh, while um, I've got I, I've got a, a, an absolute perfect author in mind for you. Uh, All right. So I hope well, we'll, I hope there's still room. Yes, yes, absolutely. Have them connect with me pronto so I okay. can save a slot because I put my final food food orders in <laughs> okay. today. So, so with that said, here's here's what's going on, everyone in the book world. It's changing, and there's an, and it's not going to stop changing. And what it does is adds on more gimmicks, gadgets. Uh, wizards, all kinds of things that you can do. But but really what I've come away with during this session is how smart it is for any author to really get your book into this system. Go if, if wherever, the, the if you live in a city that has a, an espresso machine, get there and get your book on it so you have it so you can get into the, the, the expansive network that John Zeck from the Tattered Cover referred to. Um, if you don't, I'm going to tell you, contact John and let them get it loaded into the tattered cover, which is, as I said, is is one of the premier independent bookstores in the country. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're here and that you could have kind of a safekeeping for your book um, and, the, and the files and get it there. So at least that if you are in a situation, you get in a sticky wicket or you're thinking, as John just said, that, you know, I'm going to be in D.C. I'm going to be in Chicago, I'm going to be in New York, I'm going to be in Los Angeles, and I'm assuming that the most EBMs, John, are probably going to be in major cities, but could I be wrong? Um, yes and no. Uh, yes and no. Okay, North, so it North, could be a mix. North, North Shire is up, there in the, is up there in the Berkshires, some library systems, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, the South Dakota library system has it. The easiest ah. way to find, the easiest Good. way to find out where the machines are is if you go to ondemandbooks.com, who uh-huh. designed the, the EBM. Uh, okay. They have a terrific website that has a map of locations in the United States and worldwide. 
Um, Great. So and, I'm just going to uh, tell everyone just to go to ondemandbooks.com if you're mm-hmm. you know if you're not in a, a really major major that is going to be more logical to have one like the New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, Denver, Portland, etc. Uh, and just look up where it is. And if they don't have one, you know, contact John Zek. John, how do they get a hold of you? Um, my email is tc for tatterdcover dot press at tattercover dot com, and my telephone number is three zero three three two two one nine six five extension two two nine one. Okay, so we go to TC Press. TC dot press or period T- press. Yeah, TC dot press at tatteredcover dot com. Yeah, and for everyone, tattered is tattered in a past tense. T a t t e r e d cover dot com. All right, so that's just a a fabulous resource. I know I'm going to do it, and I hadn't even thought of it. It hadn't even come into my sphere, but I'm just looking at this is a fabulous way to do a backup that I can get my hands on something instantly. So, John, I know that um, in my enthusiasm, you said, whoa, 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 that you had said that um, I, I know it takes roughly, how long does it take roughly to produce a book? You're taking, you're going back to your 250 page copy. Some books are less in mm-hmm. page count. Some books are more. So if we have a 250 page count book, what's the time um, to when that button's pushed that the book comes out? Um, I'd say it averages about five, seven minutes, somewhere between five and seven minutes, depending on uh, on um, on the the ink needs for the cover. And if it, if the book ha- if the text has a lot of photographs, uh, they can be they can they can be a little bit slower to to uh, to print out. So it just depends. Yeah, let's say seven minutes to be on the safe side. All right. Then then let me add this. We're talking about the interior is black and white. Is that correct? Are the, we talking? The interior's about- print out is black and white. Um, okay. If you have if you have color photographs, uh, they'll print they'll print just fine. We kind of encourage you to move them into the grayscale, but uh, but they'll they 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 print just fine, and more times than not, people are happy with the are are are, are as happy with the black and white. Okay. As they, well, you know, all right. As they are with the color. And the Perfect. other thing. All right. Too Hold is, on. Hold on, John. We're going to come right back. We have another break, and we're going to talk about the cover side. This is Judith Bryles. You're listening to Your Guide to Book Publishing. This is Your Guide to Book Publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing, Judith Bryles, we will provide you with discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll-free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. postcards that make a statement? How about business cards, flyers, brochures, or NCR forms? Tuvets is the solution for all your printing needs. Providing services specially designed for authors, we deliver exceptional quality colored printing. Most important of all, we specialize in reducing your printing costs. No more waiting. No more standing in lines at your local printer. Online proofing. With our pricing tools calculator, you can get instant quotes on all your printing products, as well as shipping rates all over the United States. Just a few clicks of the mouse and you're on the way to discovering how easy and convenient online color printing should be. Contact our friendly, human, account representatives. We recognize that you want answers, not voice prompts. Visit our website at www.tu-vets.com or call 1-800-800. 894-8977 When 
Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972. They believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, with me this session is John Zeck. John is the director um, of the, really, the Espresso. Uh, he's, he's the director for the Tattered Cover of the, and Business Development for their print-on-demand uh, book machine, the Espresso book machine, the EBM as it's called. And they have grown since it was installed a couple of years ago. It's grown by its usage, its reputation, by leaps and bounds. So uh, what we're talking about is the variations of the theme that's evolved with that. And it, and it is, if, if you walk into, they, they have three locations in, in Colorado. And it's based in the uh, Lodo, we call it the Lodo uh, store in the downtown area, which is actually, I think I would say it's my favorite store that I like to go down to. And that it really is a become... Um, a tourist attack attraction, and it's a it's a book lover attraction because when you see this gadget, this fabulous, uh, from for, for someone first saw it, they said, "Oh my God, it's a real Goldberg machine." When you see this in work, it it is a piece of art. It's a it's one of these ahas that you you can hardly wait to play with. So we're talking about the usage, and and John was as we went to break was talking about. The cover, we, the interiors are done in black. If you have your, your book, uh, if you have interior uh, that has color, it will be shifted to a, some form of a grayscale, which comes out just fine. But the covers are printed with color. And the format um, for what they use is more of a, a satiny finish. Uh, is that correct, John? That is, that is, that's absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh, and what I... And what I was saying is that as someone who was speaking on the platform and hauled books around um, for decades uh, th- that and sold books for, for on the platform, that uh, or they I had my own little bookstore at the back after a speaking gig, is that I preferred the more satiny matte finish over the gloss finish because of this. When you have people who are picking up books and putting them down, picking them up, putting them down, you start seeing fingerprints on the gloss cover, and a lot of people don't think about it. So you might want to think about if your books are going to be a little bit handled, um, gloss may not be your best friend for a finish for a cover. Just a little side note here. All right. So, John, let's just jump back in here. Um, we talked about uh, the, the we've talked about cover we've talked about keeping it up that this is a great storage place for having your books to be able to access it anywhere or at least in key points globally if you need them very quickly or you could even um, 
call ahead and say, I need to have 40 books, have them ready, and would, and, and they'll be picked up, or I'll have someone pick them up. So they're there for you for a, as a resource. Um, what other, what other ways? Well, the, the, the uh, having worked, uh, having worked in big publishing for Harper Collins, mm-hmm. um, what I know is, 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 and, and, you know, you, you briefly alluded to this before, Sometimes there are certain opportunities in certain cities. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to get a call from Random House. You know that if we get if we if we can get twenty books to over over to the Hyatt in the Denver Tech Center, it's going to make a huge difference. Uh, and there's no those twenty books sadly aren't available in town. I don't get that call enough. Um, I, I mean, you, you, uh, and you know, it's, it's very, it's very interesting. You know, we, we were talking print versus digital. Um, we have a customer called, uh, called the natural hazard center up at the university of Colorado. Brilliant people. These guys are, you know, if you go on their website, they, they are so cutting edge, uh, in the, in the areas of conservation and biodiversity, et cetera, you know, anyway, they, um, they're, they, they do a, uh, a bi-monthly publication that is just, uh, uh, the, the content is, is just brilliant. Um, a year ago, what they found was their, their funding was a little weak. And so they went through a, uh, uh, a tremendous, uh, a tremendous, self-examination and what they found was that their donors preferred the old print the old print national natural hazards observer to the digital so they went back to print with the with their with their periodical and i i haven't actually followed up with uh with with uh with with zeke peters there to find out if the uh if the the um, if the donations went back up, but they needed print for that. Um, there are times when when print really when digital does not do the job, mm-hmm. and, and print does. We also find we also find um, that a lot of a lot of our people who went Kindle crazy uh, two Christmases mm-hmm. ago. Mm-hmm. Are finding their way back to print, at least some of the time. Oh, I'm so, doing a happy dance here. I want you to know I'm doing a happy dance because there a, is no there is girl. no experience like handling a book. Uh, it's yeah. a, it's a culture all of its own, and there's I, I, I guess there's no experience to handling uh, any any mm-hmm. any reader uh, also. But uh, but anyway, um, really on on that level. Um, delivering someone a PDF uh, is not the same thing as putting a book in their hands. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to. Here's my. I have a. Here's an extreme bias. People who do extreme sports. I'm an extreme bias. I have for years been a judge for the Colorado Center for the Book, <clears throat> and they delivered over last year. Uh, these books, and I had two that were, and I was always a final judge for the nonfiction category, and that they um, they delivered over. There were four finalists, and there were two books that were delivered in print. And I go through my usual. I pick up the book. I look at the binding. I look at the cover. I, I, I'm very. I'm a very tactile person. So I am. I'm smelling. You know, I'm smelling it. I'm looking at the shaping. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at the way. You know, was it printed correctly? Is it? Is it been screwed up in the print? Uh, so I'm looking at all of that before I get into the book. They sent me a PDF of one book, and they sent me an e-version, and I called and kind of went ballistic. And they said, well, what we did is we gave people the option, uh, the authors, the option of how they delivered the book. And I said, it's not the authors who should have the option. It's the judges. The, The authors have nothing to do with this. It's the judges that need to do that. And I went ahead and did it, and I am pleased to say that I pushed through one of the print books. 
um, be- because I actually did a ding down because it was difficult for me to actually get into one of the books and I couldn't get the full judging experience I wanted to give it. And um, and then when this year came up and they delivered just one print and then the three other areas, I, I just I resisted and they said, well, then we won't have you judge this year. And I think it, it's just really a mistake. I, and I said, if you are judging ebooks, ebooks is a different competition. It's a totally different evaluation of how they go through versus what you give for a print book. And they didn't seem to get it. And I was fascinated by their response, John. I really was. Because there is a different avenue as you go down here. Do you think, I mean, do you think that any device, whether it's a, whether it's a tablet, tablet, whether it's an Android, that any device occupies someone's attention in the same way that a physical book? I, I don't think it does. Now, I, I have grandkids here uh, that are going to be showing up here soon for a few days, and I've, they're six and nine. Uh, well, Accompany them will be tablets. <laughs> I know that's, that's coming. And, 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 um, and they're fascinated with it, and they spend a lot of time, but it's a different thing. And the other thing is what I look at is that they are moving fast on these things, and there is never – the dive in that I used to see when we would sit with printed books where we would go through and we would touch different parts of the print books and talk about different things and we would go back and forth. So it's a very different area. So it, I, I'll be fascinated to see what the, the uh, ramifications are in another year. Well, it's, it, and, and especially with kids' books, it's really mm-hmm. fascinating because – you know, with the with the enhanced electronic book, there are so many ways, different ways, that the publisher can, but the publisher and the author can occupy the kids' attention. That you can take all the, you can take all the imagination whatsoever out of the process. And you know what, John, that was exactly where, you know, we're, we're 15 minute, seconds to break, but that is exactly what I say, that they give them so much that the imagination is gone. It's like in the old days when we watched movies, you had a couple in a bedroom and your imagination went wild. Now they show us everything and, oh, my God. All right, we're going to be right back. <laughs> John Zeck is with me. This is Judith Bryles, and you're listening to your guide to book publishing. <laughs> This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Writing and reading are moving to the cloud. WaveCloud represents a whole new community for writers and readers to connect, communicate, evaluate, and share. Writers hone their craft and build their business. Readers build their favorites. Sign up for updates at wavecloud.com. shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing, and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today. 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207. Or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. 
Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, these, it goes fast here, and with me is John Zeck. We're talking to Tattered Cover. He is the director of the uh, the business development for the Tattered Covers um, uh, press, and really he is the brains behind, he's the mastermind behind the Espresso uh, book machine, the EBM, which is a tool that y'all should know about. You should all have your book up there in the catalog. You want to get to the ondemandbooks.com, ondemandbooks.com, find out a locator, of where one of the EBM machines is in your community. If it's not, there's there's roughly 40 of them in the United States, another 40-plus globally that just get it in the system because if you're traveling anywhere, and let me tell you, as someone who has done a lot of publicity over the years about her books, that there are many times that you have to step in very quickly. If someone's called you and said, oh, my God, our, you know, our key guest can't be here. Is there any way that you can come in and do this segment and uh, it, you know, tomorrow morning or later this afternoon? And is there any way, I mean, can you send us some stuff on your book? You can say, not only can I do that, there is, a, if you can send a runner down to the XYZ bookstore I'll call ahead and have a book there, and it probably will be ready for two hours, and you can have a book there. There's just so amazing things that you can do. So understand what the EBM can do. Find out where a machine is in your area. If it's not, you want to contact TC, that's Tom Charlie, TC dot press at tattered, that's past tense, tatteredcover.com. And connect with John Zeck, my guest, to find out how you can get into the system so that you can have your book available globally within hours, which is an amazing thing to do. All right, John, I'm do- hey, we're Judith, doing one thing. Yep. One thing on that, uh, just uh, just on that other thing. Remember too that if you're looking for that machine, go to ondemandbooks.com. Yes, ondemandbooks.com and find on out the locator. And they have, uh, and and if you navigate the 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 uh, the, the bar at the top of the website, um, you can find the map of locations very easily, and that's a great way to find it as well, find the machines around the around the country and world as well. Well, not only that, what's very cool about that is that although I've mentioned major cities like New York and Chicago and Los Angeles and Denver and Portland, etc., but there's also some uh, very small cities and libraries within cities that have uh, sprung for this very expensive machine, and they're not cheap, let me tell you. 
um, very expensive machine to have it to fulfill the need for the community of amazing authors that are everywhere. So uh, find out if there's one in your area that you can get to fairly quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to refer you to my very favorite bookstore, which is The Tattered Cover. I'm biased. I will tell you I'm openly biased. Even when I lived in San Francisco, um, and we had great bookstores. I still prefer the tattered cover. So with that said, um, Author U has a fabulous event coming up July 20th. If you're in the Colorado area on July 20th in the afternoon, we have a great event going on. I'm, I'm actually going to do a, I'm going to kick it off with around my new book, which has won three national book awards, which I'm very proud of this, this last month um, for in the writing publishing area. Area called Author You Creating and Building Your Author and Book Platforms. I'm going to be doing an actually very visual layout of how you put together a very successful game plan for you and your book. Then we are going to create and deliver the author Shark Tank. And that I'm pleased to say we have applied for Author You for the trademark, the federal trademark for this baby. But the author Shark Tank and John Zeck. Myself, Nick Zillinger, who is one of my favorite cover and interior designers, and A.J. White, we are going to be your sharkies, and we are going to do ninja coaching from the platform and from the person who does the best pitch using my tips from creating the game plan, you are going to win a special slot at my event on September 6th and 7th, which is Judith Briles Unplugged, two full days, including your meals, of taking you through, of creating and developing a book and getting it off the stage and marketing that you won't believe. So that's what we have planned. And how you find out about that is you just go to authoru.org and you can sign up. And guess what? It's free, free, free. So how's that, John? That was really good, Judith. And I, I, I just want you to know that we, every author who I talked to prior to my broadcast email is getting a, getting a full pitch on um, why they need to be there. Uh, because this is, this is really what we don't do at Tattered Cover Press. I mean, if, I, if someone wants to have a little conversation with me, they want to have a little conversation with me. But if they actually hear, hear Judith do an expanded presentation of what needs to be done and then listen to the Shark Tank, uh, and 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 participate in the Shark Tank. They're going to get the full uh, the full wake up call in terms of where they needed to be headed if they're going to actually get this you know get the get this baby uh, off the ground um, because because you know r my people are so exhausted by the time they get writing they get done writing. Uh, that they they think they're finished and, and and the public's gonna gonna just find that book and as uh, uh, as Judith ha has learned from experience after experience with authors who she's worked with uh, that is not the case. No, uh, you have just to learn. Whew. You're you learned. just getting started. Yeah, you uh, just. I have to tell you, I'm looking at the EBM locator map. I'm actually on the demand books as we're talking. Mm -hmm. There, you're, There's Alaska. There's several things. Uh, there's several locations in Canada. There's uh, there's one in Mexico. Certainly, the United States has the bulk of them. But, you know, you can go to the Ukraine. You can go to Saudi Arabia. You can be Botswana. You can be in the United Kingdom. There's one in Egypt. I mean, certainly the bulk of them here are in North America. Uh, and specifically the United States, but you know what? You've got one, and that which is extraordinarily cool um, to be able to tap into. And, and and you know, if you're in the Dominican Republic, and they've got one too, so at, at, the, at the Juan Bush Library. So the fabulous thing is that you can travel. You've got those, and this is an amazing resource that you all want to know about. And that what John's saying at the Tattered Cover is what we're doing on July 20th is we're going to show you how to create, how to strategize, how to develop, how to grow, how to market your book so that you can be successful instead of getting just a book out and, and you think you're now everyone's going to know about it. The only way people are going to know about it is that you get your tush out there and you tell them about it. Well, I, I've got, I, I've got uh, um, 
several people who have promised me that they're going to sign up to participate in the Shark Tank. Oh, and well, they already got five people who have sent me emails. They're on the list. So you, how, many you need... can you, how many can you accommodate over the two-hour period with the Shark Tank? Um, I think that we can, we're going to go fast, fast, fast. So they're going to get, they'll, they maybe get max seven minutes. So okay. we'll just. You know, we'll just fill, 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 and it's um, we'll we'll be officially announcing it um, here in a few days to the Author U community here in Colorado, which will certainly be the bulk of them um, there. But that that's what you want to. It, it's a great event. It's free. Come see the the fabulous tattered cover store. Get your hands on the books. Watch the espresso machine do its thing. Um, which will be fun uh, to see, and and you'll just discover. And 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 you know, we haven't gone on to some of the other sources. We've we've talked about doing quick things, but one of the things, John, that I think that the the EBM machine is quite good for is that uh, that sounds redundant because EBM machine machine. <laughs> um, the EBM is good for is arcs, which are the advanced reader copies, mm-hmm. and. Um, we had one of our mutual clients now who was going to an event down in Texas. And I said, Lynn, aren't you going to take some books? Well, I don't have any. And I said, load it. It's a tattered cover. Take a couple of samples. And I'm telling you, you're going to sell it. She sell, sold almost 400 pre-copies of her book just by showing the sample from the EBM. You can't, you can't leave home without your book. You know what, Judith? We had a uh, we we had uh, uh, an oil man. Gosh, I, I'm blanking on his name right now. One wonderful guy, who um, who wrote a uh, uh, a terrific history of of the of the oil business in Colorado, um, and uh, and the book wasn't wasn't quite ready. But he really, he really wanted to show this thing at a uh, at, at a meeting of of oil barons. Uh, so he came in, he came in and did a print run, same kind of deal, uh, 150 copies of 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 what he had what he had in the book, um, and and it was it, it was the same thing. I don't know what kind of numbers and that he, he sold. Really sold and he but sold. He didn't, he, you just didn't want to lose this event. No, don't um, lose. And and you know what? We're we're losing our time here. <laughs> so I oh, wanted to. I know it's over. It's over. So John Zeck, the tattered cover. Find out about the espresso book machine, the EBM. Take advantage of it. Go to the ondemandbooks.com. Find out the location of them. If you're in Colorado, come to the July 20th event. Go to authoru.org. Sign up. Um, we can get put about 120 butts in the room. We look forward to seeing you too. I'm Judith Bryles. Thank you. Thank you, John. And Thanks we'll see- so much, Judith. I really appreciate it. Okay. Take care, everyone. Have a fabulous week. Your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryan.